Hello, I'm John Bruff, and welcome to Around Town. Today we're in beautiful Skinny Atlas Lake, exploring everything the lake and the hotels in the area have to offer. We're starting with the Sherwood Inn, a tranquil environment for you and your family, followed by Krebs, one of the best restaurants around, and finally, with a boat cruise across the lake. Let's get started. This is Around Town. When Isaac Sherwood won a contract to carry mail west from Onondaga Hill, he carried it on foot. But soon he was aided by a horse, and then a wagon, then a stagecoach. From the stagecoach, he built an empire, owning and investing in stage lines running across New York from Albany to Buffalo. His name lives on here at the Sherwood Inn, built on the site to first serve his passengers, drivers, and horses. Today, the Sherwood Inn is a modern day retreat, nestled right on the northern tip of Skinny Atlas Lake. With no two rooms being the same, each has its own unique feel without compromising on the modern luxuries we all can't live without. I'm meeting Nancy Ranieri, the manager of customer relations, who is going to show me why I haven't stopped hearing about this place from my friends and family all over the country. Let's head inside. Okay, now I'm inside the Sherwood Inn with Nancy Ranieri, and she's gonna take us around the tavern, the front porch, the hotel rooms, and hopefully the bakery. So Nancy, so nice to meet you. So nice to have you here today with us. We've got a lot to cover, okay. so should we go in? Let's go, we're gonna go right into the tavern okay. right this way. So we have lunch, dinner, and drinks here. Lunch, dinner, drinks, it's open from 11.30 um, until 10 o'clock at night. So, it's a local favorite spot. And the old style. Yeah, it's modeled after a British tavern. And our owner just handpicked everything uh, right to the ceiling, the wood, the reclaimed wood on the floors, um, the picture. He's got it tailored just the way he wants. And it's a local favorite. We have a wood burning fireplace behind you which of course in July we don't need, but during the winter months it's fabulous and people, it's a favorite. All these tables are absolute favorites for guests that enjoy. Absolutely. And so is it a different menu here than on the porch? Same menu. So you can have a hamburger in here, you can have a steak, you can have our fresh seafood, whatever you like. On Fridays we do a nice raw bar. All of our food, uh, fish comes from Foley's Market in Boston, uh, air flown down. It's fabulous. So another Friday favorite in this room particularly. And then if you don't want to eat in the tavern, you can eat in the front porch. Right. We're so we can go head right there now. Way. And then this is the foyer. We're gonna, we call it the lobby. Um, a lot of locals refer to it as the living room of the community because um, we have running groups that come here on Sunday mornings, have coffee and just relax. We have people that come in, wait for other people to join them. Gift shop. We have a gift shop. We have our front desk. We get all kinds of phone calls. We make lunch, dinner reservations, party reservations, um, do all, all of our hotel reservations through there as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, staff 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. And then into. So we're going to go right through here into our dining room space. Again, the same menu as you see in the tavern. It's just a little bit different, a little bit different atmosphere. Right. So this is a rice favorite again, another wood burning fireplace. Our wine bar, which is really a popular as well. Beautiful ceilings. These have been done maybe 10 years ago, all custom built. This is a pickled pine and it was custom done for this room. And you'll see if you look where the, uh, uh, the uh, artwork is, it's all custom sized to the original paintings that are there. Right. So. And I had breakfast here this morning and it was tremendous, really. <laughs> well, our pastry chef will be happy to oh. hear that. She does a fab fabulous job. And I think we're going to go have a little bite of our own. Yeah, we're going to go right on the front porch. You can see all the windows are up, the screens are down. So we just have that beautiful Skinny Atlas Lake. So here we are, in case you didn't know, Sherwood Inn, 1807, right, right there. 
in the, my intro, I talked a little bit about the history, but what does the Sherwood Inn mean to you and Skinny Atlas? Oh my gosh, it's the cornerstone of the village. It really is. Um, the, when you talk, talk about location, 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 you can't beat it. Um, I worked here 10 years and uh, I've done a little bit of every kind of job in the hotel, the restaurant, catering, sales, marketing, and now customer relations. It's just really fabulous. People love having their weddings here, their birthdays, their anniversaries, their dinners, their lunches. Bridge groups come in the winter and play and enjoy the, you know, the fireplaces. So, so it offers a little bit of everything to everyone in the community. We get a lot of out-of-town guests. Uh, a lot of people are buying property on the lake and they're not from this area, but they love it. And they can't wait to come back. So we're pretty we're pretty lucky. And where do people visit from? Is it is it just the U.S.? Do people come? We get a lot a lot of Canadians come down. Um, they're looking for the lakes and the seasons and the um, the friendly atmosphere, which this village has. You go up and down. Oh, the merchants are really tourist friendly for sure. Um, we get a lot from New York City. Um, we draw a lot from Albany, Rochester, um, the southern tier. We're right in the heart of it, so it's pretty easy to get to from the throughway and from Route 81, so it's pretty, pretty nice spot. You cannot beat it. Now, when we come back, we're going to have a little bite, so wait for that. Delicious. Oh my gosh. My yeah. mouth so you get is some, watering. You're going to love it. So um, we've got house-made crab cake. Again, like I said, the crab, all of our seafood comes from uh, Boston, Foley's Market. So it's nice and fresh with a nice aioli underneath and then some sautéed spinach. We've got our uh, French onion soup, which we're known for. People love it year round. It doesn't matter. Summer, fall, winter, people enjoy it. It's a house-made crouton with our uh, sautéed onions and our special soup recipe and then a nice uh, gratiné over to the top. And then kettle chips, um, a tavern favorite, but you know when you put bacon and you put blue cheese and some homemade kettle chips and ranch dressing, what you is can't not call it. Right. It's just lovable. Everyone loves it. So it's really delicious and I think you'll enjoy it. And then you said you're, you're known for your cod. You have a certain So we have scrod. We have a um, scrod Christopher, which is something we're really Really noted for as well as our pecan salmon and our Yankee pot roast. We can't open the doors unless we have a lot of those items in house. And ready. so much more. There is so much more food but I think now we're gonna finish this and we're gonna head over to the rooms. Yes. Nancy and I will join you in just a second. Okay. We'll be right back. Well, Nancy, this is fantastic. So now we're in the Hannum House. There's five suites, all ensuite bathrooms, great for a bridal party, you rent it out, a large family. I mean, this is the place to stay. It is amazing. We opened the late summer of 2016 and people that stay here love it. Um, it's right next to the Sherwood Inn. So when you check in, you check in at the Sherwood, uh, someone brings you over brings you to your room, welcomes you, you park right here, and then breakfast is included, served on the front porch of the Sherwood each morning. So it's it's great, the best of both worlds. And handicap accessible, handicap there's an accessible. elevator included. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's fabulous property. And then through here we have the library yeah, and the study. we're gonna come right through here. And the library's here, right in this room, and anyone that's staying here can enjoy this library. People really enjoy it. It's just so comfortable here. At Christmas, we have a fabulous Christmas tree with handmade ornaments. Is this, it's is awesome. this a working fireplace? It is a working fireplace. So you can come in here, the kids, play it's, some games. It's I fabulous. mean, this is incredible. It's nice. It's just so great. Well, I think I'm going to go check up one of the rooms that I'm actually staying in. But first, we have to say thank you so much oh, to Nancy. Oh, it's our pleasure. An amazing you. hostess. <laughs> and for everyone here, you have to come stay at the Sherwood Inn. It is the place to stay if you're in Skinny Atlas. And don't wait, they're going to book up. So I'm going to go check up a room upstairs. Okay, now we're in the premier suite in the Hannum House, number three. Now come check this out. This is a beautiful room. It's still stately, it's still elegant, but there's modern touches throughout. We have flat screen TVs. We have the new fireplace, but the real gem, a 
this whole room is the bathroom. Come check this out. Now you have a complete marble bathroom, sunken tub, full of amenities. I mean, this is a place you can really get away and escape the whole world. Now I'm staying here tonight, but not before checking out the bakery, patisserie out back. They bake their own bread, they have scones, they have croissants. It's a must, must see and eat. But we're all finished up here at the Sherwood Inn and we're gonna head on out to Krebs for a nice bite to eat. So I'll see you there. Okay, now we've just left the Sherwood Inn and we're starving. So where do we eat? Krebs, in the middle of Skinny Atlas. So much history, the best food around. We're meeting with Kim, the owner, and she's gonna cook up a storm for us. So why don't we head inside and see what she has in store? Let's go. Okay, now we're inside at Krebs, and I'm here with Matt, the general manager. Thanks so much, Matt. Great. Now he's gonna take us through a few of the wines and a few of the appetizers, and what all of you need to do to come in here right now and eat. So Matt, take it away, what it's, do we need to know? It's a wonderful thing, a good summer idea here. We began with this terrace and rosé, to pair it up with a couple great dishes, a roasted and smoked tomato soup with beautiful tomatoes underneath, fine herbs to go with that. Brings out a bit of that rosé from terrace, which is a really neat project up in Finger Lakes area, but the gentleman comes from New York City. He and his wife put it together. It's great if you try it out. And it's very dry, very nice. It is, and it's so many people wouldn't expect that maybe all of them would be as dry, but it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Perfect also to work into the crab roulade. We've made a beautiful thing out of avocados and crab, a little bit of pickles, pickle seeds, so that we can get some uh, peak to it. I wouldn't mind someday when you have the chance, we should try out one of the beautiful Chardonnays out of New York State that would go perfectly with this. But right now, a wonderful thing we'll have enjoy a Blue Rosé. Absolutely. I want to be able to show you how this works. The service here is incredible. Beautiful idea. Look at this. Where you can place it right around the fine herbs. A little bit of that cracker for crunch. There's summer dishes, we're summer casual sometimes. You know, we're not too wound up. We actually can Absolutely. Enjoy. People are coming off their boats or coming off, you know, hikes with their families. They want a great, great meal, but a little relaxed. And Very this is the sure. perfect place. It can be done either at our, our nighttime, which of course Wednesday through Sundays, but we do a great brunch too. Absolutely. We really do. So everyone come here for brunch. We're gonna enjoy the appetizers and we're gonna come right back and have a few entrees. Well, thank you so much, Matt. This was absolutely nice. delicious. I think we're gonna go talk to Kim and get a whole rundown on the entrees. So let's go see her. All right, now I'm here with Kim, the owner, beautiful Kim, and she's gonna tell us all about Krebs, the food and everything else you need to know. So Kim, pleasure to meet you. You as well. What's Thank happening you for being here? here? Yes, absolutely. Well, Jason's going to come in with the food here and tell you about what we're having for dinner this evening. So tonight we got our pork with hazelnuts, black currants, and peas and carrots. Kim, you'll be having our lobster with peas, potato pearls, and lemon foam. And this is all farm to table, as you it were saying. It is. We try to source as much as we can from the local area and the local um, butchers as well. Uh, you know, we have a beautiful facility here in Skinny Atlas and really want to feature the, all the Finger Lakes has to bring. Um, we have a rich history here at the Krebs, but we really do uh, try to bring what's new and on trend in the industry here and kind of prevent uh, or make an incubator for young talent to come here and provide us with these beautiful things and, and uh, food and beverage. And from what I've heard, you built quite the team around you. I mean, it's quite the powerhouse. We do. We've uh, when we first opened, we brought in a lot of people from some big metropolitan cities uh, to kind of show what we wanted to make the Krebs be. And we've continued that four years later. Um, August is our four-year anniversary uh, to really kind of continue to up our game every year to bring the village and all of our visitors the beautiful things the Finger Lake has to offer. Terrific. Now, I'm, do you mind if I have a bite? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, enjoy. let's dig in here. And what, I'm, I'm sure you must have incredible stories over the years that people who have come here um, 
Tell we us a little do. bit about that. My favorite story, because I didn't know until probably two years in, is that uh, the Krebs here started as a barbershop. He would cut hair, and uh, Cora Krebs would actually make lunch for the barber or the people coming in to get their hair cut. And they made more money off of lunch than they did making haircuts. So they made the transition into food rather right. than uh, cutting hair. Right. <laughs> <laughs> But there's lots of dignitaries and important people that have come to the Finger Lakes to really uh, enjoy its beauty. Now, why Skinny Atlas? If people are going to the Finger Lakes, why should they come to Skinny Atlas over another Finger Lake? I think the size of it is wonderful. I think the, the theory and um, what we do here in the village, it's all locally owned shops. You won't see a chain here. Um, and that's what makes it special. It's it's doable for the day. We have a local swimming hole in the park, which is my favorite. You see a lot of parks sit empty a lot. And right. ours is used all the time with mm -hmm. everybody coming to swim and just viewing the beauty of it. And we really have some young people that have come back from metropolitan cities raising their family here. We have great school systems. So we have on-trend shopping, food, nightlife, um, but in a relaxed, you know, easy breezy lakeside village. In an inviting setting. I mean, Krebs is really a restaurant for all, and I mean, we, we can't forget that. Yes, come in in your flip flops and, and shorts off the boat and enjoy a great cocktail or, you know, a beautiful dinner in the dining room. Well, we're going to finish having these entrees here, so I'm going to have to send you away, unfortunately. I have a lot of work to do here, but come to Krebs. You have my word, you will not have a better dinner here in Skinny Atlas. So we'll see you some other time. All right, welcome back. We're in Skinny Atlas, and what better way to end your whole day here than a boat cruise across the lake, seeing all the homes from the water and having a glass of wine doing it. We're here with Sarah Weil, and she's gonna take us around with 150 other people and see all we can see from the lake. Let's go check it out. Now we're on the boat. I mean, we couldn't ask for better weather. And I'm here with the lovely Sarah Wiles, owner, co-owner of this wonderful boat service. So tell us a little bit about what exactly you do here. Well, Mid Lakes Navigation has been cruising with guests on board for about 50 years now. So we offer a variety of cruises like this one, a lovely sightseeing cruises on an afternoon. We also offer a dinner cruise where people can sit on board and, and have a lovely meal right on board. Yeah, it's really and nice. And during the day, you still offer wine? Oh, yes. So the homes look even more extraordinary. The homes look wonderful. Right. Now, how long have you been in Skinny Atlas? My father founded this business 50 years ago this year. So we've been on the lake since 1968. I don't look that old, do I? No, not at all. <laughs> 25. That's thank you, tops. thank you, yes. So what is so special about Skinny Atlas and this lake? I know the water is so fresh, the drinking water for the yeah. area, and Syracuse yeah. comes from this lake. That's right. So why is it so fresh and what's so special about this lake? Oh gosh, where to begin? Um, Skinny Atlas is a spring-fed lake. It was formed from, where? from springs right underneath the, the bottom of the lake. So the, the water comes up from the ground. Um, it's got a very small watershed, so there's not a lot of uh, things that can get into the lake. There's no industry on the lake, and it makes for a beautiful waterway. Um, and we're very lucky because our little village of Skinny Atlas is located right on the lake. So you can sit in the park, you can park your car, take two or three steps, and you're just looking at this wonderful lake. Wow, that's yeah. really and so all these homes, I, her, your sister, is she the one that's on the yes. MC? Yes. Yep. So what are some, uh, I guess, prominent families' homes that, uh, if you're taking a tour, we would get to know a little bit more about? Well, we have uh, some captains of industry that live like along who? the lake. Um, the Revson family founder of Revlon Cosmetics, we just passed uh, their place. We have um, Tim Green's family has a place over, over on the lake. Yeah. And then there's quite a lot of 
historic uh, structures and homes along the lake too. So. so lots for people to come see and get excited about. Exactly right. Absolutely. And there's history and the geology that I just told you about right. the lake, it's all here. Well, and with weather like this, what better way to, you come from lunch, come out with the family, relax, all your worries just float away. Well, Sarah, I think I'm going to go enjoy a little bit more of the boat, but thank you so much for thank allowing you. us to come on. And I'm going to keep taking a tour around. Excellent. All right. Thank see you. See you there. Now, we've enjoyed a magnificent afternoon at Skinny Atlas at the Sherwood Inn, Krebs Restaurant, and now this fantastic boat cruise. I mean, what more could you want? I'm gonna finish my wine, and I wanna say to all of you out there, I hope to see you around town and wherever your travels may take you. I'll see you soon. Cheers.